while it's always fun to control any kind of device without direct contact. Like my light tracker which follows the movement of light from angle of 0 degree to 180 and back as well. But it's not only about the phone. It can be used in building solar tracker and in robot construction as well, which I'm thinking of making the video of them in the nearby future. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I build this. Let's get started. These devices have mechanical parts, electric parts, and programming part as well. Starting with the mechanical part, I cut the plastic into different shapes and sizes with the hacksaw. Based on my paper design, I then fix them together with the glue. For the electric part, I use two photoresistors to perform the light sensing operation, which I then fix them in the space provided in my plastic design. After adding some wires to it, I then connect the photoresistors based on this circuit diagram on a breadboard and to the Arduino also. More about this in my first video. For the servo, I connect ground to ground, VCC to 5V and signal wire to pin 9. Moving to the programming part. If you go through it, you understand it's a duplicate of one chord with slight difference using the photoresistor sensitivity to control the movement of the shovel motor. This is how it works. If the left photoresistor sensor value is less than the right one, the server will move in that direction. And if the right one is less than the left one, it will move toward right. Or let me say the server will always move in the direction of the photoresistor with the less sensor value. But it was not stable when I gave it the first try. Just see. But I was able to find out the reason. Let me explain. The photoresistors will have the same sensor value if the same amount of light intensity hit their surface. But to be sure of that, I wrote this code just to see the result on the serial monitor, which happens to be right. But the servo motor movement is not that accurate to move from where it was and position itself at the perfect angle for the light intensity to equally hit the photoresistors, which results in different sensor values. So trying to get that perfect angle makes it not to be stable. To fix that, I decided to create a barrier between the sensor values so that for the if statement to be executed, the sensor value have to be less than the other one with a certain value, which is 15 in this case. So I added 15 to the left sensor value in the first if statement and also to the right sensor value in the second if statement. And it works perfect after uploading. But in the if statement, there is another condition. In the first one, the angle has to be less than 180. And in the second one, the angle has to be greater than zero for the execution to take place. Which makes the tracker to move only between angle of zero degree to 180. We've come to the end of this video. If you enjoy it, don't forget to like. And if this is your first time to watch my video or you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'll be glad if you do so. And I hope to see you in my next video.